My name is Farmer Phil and today we're going up to pick up this lawn rig thing we have bought that we said in a video is when we had 40,000 subscribers so yeah we're going to pick it up you can probably think of what it is but um, so yeah we're just on our way to get that now uh, Farmer Phil's coming up in the Jeep and as you would have seen there I know people are going to say where's the mug guard gone the 6499 just does not like its mug guard and uh, we'll be putting on in the next day or so when this tractor comes in to get ready for silage season and if you're wondering that burgundy colored car that's me mother's Woolsey 1500 it is 1500 anyways we'll be on up the road and here we are and this is what we've bought a McKee engineering low loader dash bale trailer Don't see Father Phil here, but um, see where he is, and yeah, some looking trailer, so it is. Some looking trailer. So it is, it is some beast of a trailer. you know to put hold on so we're in white's trailers yard at the minute so that's where we are how will the cross the class screen wear for the color i don't know but what they did say it's more effective for the edge of the road for that oh this stands out yeah yeah also yeah. The crane. finger crane going in the front of that one it's going to tell them more for fitting tomorrow and uh, crane to lift two and a half ton full length of the low load oh, that, that's the, the you see them on the lorries yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. like a high end yeah we'll have it over in Tullamore for open the business nowadays it's up in the morning it's lady nice if they found that far in Yeah. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. See, what was contracting one to the other? Yours a bit longer, yeah, and that. But the the weight of that one and so on. Yeah. It's a fair lump of meat. Fair, also fierce on the on the job. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah, some bit of steel in that now. Well, it's just See that one came down on top of the on top of our one. Top of your one. But like when that was sitting flat on the other one, I had to get the teleporter to take it off. Yeah. Because of the height of it, you wouldn't get up near with the tractor. Right, you're good finishing stuff. Well yeah, like the, you can see where you can feel where the where the whole trailer was flat. Oh yeah. Very and then you can see two pack paint and underfoot. Under yeah. 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 Portions are twenty seven ton triaxle low loader run on a ten stud commercial axle air over hydraulic brakes 445 45 by 22.5 baby balloons very smooth on and off road fit a sprung drawbar your breakaway system your air pipes there removable bail rack it's 30 foot total length 26 on the flat and four foot of your beaver tail you have your outriggers here Without tray underneath for carrying our timbers strap box here waterproof that you can put in your straps and keep them dry and safe down to the back then give your hydraulic brack extra wide full hydraulic ramps you put the tractor into constant pump and you let them up and down with this lever here LED lights all shot glasses and covered with undercoat and two pack paint finished to the last word give your pulsar lights in the back of it there and all your reflective stripes and everything double set of lights there's not how much more you could ask for in a trailer no. thanks very much for your business lads well, and thank you, thank, thank you. Oh, 
it's been promoted for many more, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas we, we actually, so some of you may recognise the make of this trailer or the general build of it. We seen it on Jerry sixty four twenty. Yeah, back in October. Back in back in back in October, uh, we seen it when he bought his one on on Facebook. And I remember going into you at coffee time, and you said, "Did I see Jerry's trailer?" And we did, and we actually went and called to his yard uh, just before Christmas to have a look. And we were we were well impressed with it. And the first trailer we couldn't find. Yeah, it takes a lot to impress you. Well, I've been probably eight or eight to ten years thinking of buying a trailer, but. Never found a trailer that I really like to push on with. Now we've looked at lots of them, you well know. Yeah. Every yard we went by that there was a low loader in and we had a minute to spare. We looked at it. And that's the first one that I could see that was I couldn't find a fault. Yeah. Well I we not wanting anywhere. We had a lad here this morning, he arrived in the gate at twenty past eight to have a look at the low loader and his father being the engineer and and he left at a quarter past one after finding no faults whatsoever, front to back, top to bottom, upside down, back to front, on the low loader. Cutting fault. No. No, she Built has it everywhere. Yeah. She has it everywhere. Yeah. 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 Oh, great job. Great job. Great job. Happy house. We eventually done it. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> So the new tie is at home. The father Phil was just saying all the tying hooks. Point and another point. More points. It's a long walk to the front. <coughs> was the the last bale trailer? Was the same. Was it the same? Oh. Well, that used to bring uh, eight, seven, and six. Mm, must be the same. Yeah. So it's forty-two bales, I think. This will bring. So, as some of you would have seen, we got rid of our old bale trailer, the old um, lurry body trailer in Wilton's uh, the Combine Killers video. And this is, the replacement. this is the replacement. And also, it's a double jobbing, it's a low loader and a bale trailer. So, it's a double jobber. But why did we go for 30 foot long? I'll let you it's explain. The medical system fits on 30 feet. Yeah. That's why. So the, the plan would be that when we're going to moat, when we're going to Tom and Connell and Brides, well, that we can... Yeah, a one-off run to do. Yeah. To pop it up on the low level. And we can tip down the road away, hit, save the big wide tyres, and we get there a little bit quicker because you'll be able to pull it with the, the big donkey. Yeah. Um, anything else? Not really. Well happy with it. Well happy with it. Well happy with it. Long time trying to get one. Long time trying to get the one that suited what we want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the outriggers with the wide tyres, the Daewoo digger is on a wide rig or wide, what is it, wide undercarriage? It's a wide undercarriage with wide pads. So it's suited for that. Um, so yeah, we'll also, when vintage shows finally open up again, we'll have a decent way of moving around an old combine or two. And maybe a few tractors, like. You'd put those Zephyr Crystal there up on it and you'd put would, yeah. the 20 and the 30. You'd never get the 20 and 35 side by side, would you? Mm -hmm. Extra wide ramps then to make it easier for the likes of them to get up. And yeah, it's just, it's just going to be great to have a low loader. Don't have to borrow anyone else's anymore. We have our own. Super single tyre, so she should be well able for the field. Alright, we have to go buy a lot of straps now. 
Yeah, put them in the box. Put them in the box. You have them. So, anyways, I think that's it. Right. There's nothing else, no? Oh, we will get a cup of tea. Yeah. So, anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, it's going to be great to see this work. We're planning on making a lot of hay this year and we'll make great use of it throwing around stuff. If we can way. get the weather. If we can get the weather and straw and everything. It's just going to be so handy. It's just great. 30 foot long and everything we get to do with it. So, anyways, big thanks to White's Trailers for letting us do a bit of filming in his yard and, and McKee Engineering. For they threw a few bits on an extra few lights and stuff on it for us the extra riggers and stuff and i suppose a big thanks to jerry 6420 because it was him who bought he bought his one and we seen it and we went and we looked at it and we really liked it and that's kicked it all off that, that kicked it all off so if you don't know who jerry 6420 is he's another youtuber out in loud sucker farmer grows tillage cuts their own silage you can follow him over there decent lad and anyways that is it from us please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday good luck